Hello, so today I'm going to be reviewing a piece of software called Quillbot. Um, basically what this is, is um, it's a piece of software that allows you to paraphrase uh, articles that you find on the web. And also it's a great research aid. So this is useful for those of you who are content creators, if you have blogs or if you are creating videos that um, you post online, and if you're writing articles. Um, what you can do is, if you do find an article um, on a topic that you're writing about, what you can quickly do is just uh, plug uh, that article um, or a document into this piece of software and what it will do is it will completely paraphrase um, what you found. That way you're making the content your own and you're not you know, plagiarizing or just ripping someone off. So this is what the main interface looks like. Um, it's Quillbot.com. I have the premium version, which um, comes out to $79 a year, um, which is not bad. Because if you do get the yearly plan, $79 for the year comes out to roughly $6.58 a month, which I think is a very good bargain for what this software does. And as you can see, it not only paraphrases, but it does other things. Uh, let's see if I can get it to, my cloning software is interfering here. So here we go. So it's a paraphraser, it, uh, grammar checker, um, plagiarism checker, co-writer, summarizer, and citation um, generator. So it does quite a few other things. I mainly just use it to paraphrase articles. Um, so I don't really use it for the other stuff, but it I will show you one or two of the other things that it can do so that you can get um, a pretty good idea of the power of the software. All right, so let's get to it. So here you see you can either paste your text in this area here, or you can um, upload a document that you find. So let's just go ahead on Google, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. So let's say you're writing a topic on benefits of push-ups, let's say. So benefits of push-ups. Uh, all right, here we go. What are the benefits and risk of doing daily push-ups? So let's say we go here. Right. So just to give you an idea of what you can do, so here we have where it says traditional push-ups are beneficial for building upper body strength. They work the triceps, pectoral muscles, and shoulders. When done with proper form, they can strengthen the lower back and core by engaging the abdominal muscles. Now, let's say I wanted to get this paragraph here. All right, so. I can always just copy this entire paragraph, right? Copy it. I can go to Quillbot here and I can paste in what I just found. And if I wanted to make this text here that I just found, make it my own, 
All I have to do is just hit the paraphrase button here. And you can see it completely rewrote everything that I just typed in here, just pasted in here. Now, what you are going to want to, what you are going to do or need to do is just reread this because a lot of times, or I shouldn't say a lot of times, but sometimes the sentence structure uh, might be a bit clunky. Sometimes it might not read as smoothly. So what I would do if using this is I would read it over and make some subtle changes here and there just so that it reads smoothly, more smoothly. So here we see it says traditional push-ups are good for strengthening your upper body. That's fine. The triceps, pectorals, and shoulders are all worked out. They can help strengthen the lower back and core by activating your abdominal muscles when done correctly. That's fine. I don't see any need to change anything there. Push-ups are a quick and effective strengthening exercise. They may be done from almost anywhere and require no special equipment. That's fine. So you can see what it did was it paraphrased everything that I wrote here, that was pasted here, and put it into new words so that you're not directly uh, plagiarizing um, anyone's work. And if you do want to change certain words, see the highlighted, it gives you the option of, uh, if, you, if you don't like the words that they chose or the sentences that uh, the software chose, it gives you the option of clicking on that word, and you will see that it gives you options for different words that you can use. So let's say instead of good, I wanted to put great. Just click on great, automatically replaced it. See? I want to change this. Let's say I prefer developing or improving or conditioning. I can do that. So you change it. And when it underlines all these different words, these couple of words here, it's giving you the option of changing the entire sentence if you wish. So, sorry, muscles, back muscles. Okay, so you get the idea. You get the idea. All right. So, like I said, I went and I found this on Google and I copied and pasted. It. But if you have an article that you want to paraphrase, or if you already did research and you have a Word doc or something like that that you wanted to paraphrase, all you'd have to do is just click on here. And here's an article that I did recently, um, Benefits of Hibiscus Tea. Just click on that, open, and you can see it uploaded the entire article here. And if I wanted to paraphrase this entire article of 1,202 words. Again, all I'd have to do is just hit paraphrase. And look at that. It took no time at all paraphrase this entire article all right and again you can see that you can always go through the article itself and you can um, change around words or phrases if you wish just by clicking on the link and choosing a different option.
Okay, so let's look at a different uh, feature. I also told you that it can help you to do uh, research. So the way it does that is by this whole writer feature right here. And just create new. So you can either start writing here, all right, whatever topic that you are writing on, you can just get it started. Like, uh, let's say benefits of CMOS. Okay. If I wanted to find out a bit more about that or, you know, get the research started, it's just as simple as hitting this research button right here. Or, yeah, search the web. So, benefits of CMOS. And I just hit the research. Or I just hit enter. And without having to open another tab or go to Google or something like that, all I did was just enter the topic. And you'll see that it brings all these different sources. All these different sources. So let's say, you know, I wanted to do this one, for example, um, healthline.com. I wanted to see what they're talking about as far as the benefits of CMOS. All I'd have to do is just hit full source. And it pulled the article. So here it is down here. And if I wanted to read more, just click on that. And this is the entire article from healthline.com. Right. And it goes into detail right there. And if I wanted to download that, I could download it. Open. I don't know why that didn't work, but worries, we'll move on. But there's the entire article from Hefline.com. I can pull whatever I feel is necessary. All right. If I want to go to another article, go back. Uh, let's see what this one is about. By clicking on the link, it takes me to the site. Or if I wanted to, if I didn't want to leave Quillbot, what I could do is just uh, hit full source, like I did before. And then just hit read more. Hmm. didn't pull that for some reason. I don't really use this feature, so bear with me. Um, I don't know why I didn't pull that source. Let me try this one. Let's go pull source. All right, read more. All right, so this one, it pulled the entire thing. I don't know why it didn't work with the other one, but I'm just playing around with this. Like I said, I don't really use this feature that much. I'm just playing around with it, but I use it mostly for paraphrasing, like I said. And you can too. It saves me a ton of time. I'm sure it'll save you a ton of a ton of time also. So 
go ahead and check it out. It's a pretty cool piece of software that can help you uh, write your articles, write your blog posts and stuff like that. So again, it's quillbot.com. Um, check it out. You can't go wrong with it. Until next time.